Hello my soccer universe, you saw my latest unpacking video, I have now of all the 32 teams at the World Cup, I have a, at least one jersey, which makes me very happy because this was the goal for me at the beginning of this year and I'm very happy to sit here now on the eve of the World Cup uh, having achieved this. And kind of it's nice now to show for every team a jersey to kind of make like this another collection video. Uh, it's mostly for myself because I really want to see how I will do it and I was thinking how should I, should I do it? Should I do my favorite jersey? Should I pick um, you know uh, the jersey that I'm gonna use at the World Cup? And I said I'm gonna choose the uh, jersey that I'm using at the World Cup but it should be the home jersey. Now I have many home jerseys uh, back up there, it's only home jerseys, so we gotta switch the background. Ta-da! Is it only me or did things just get a little bit more bluer and whiter? Blue is missing because there's one particular nation missing for me, so uh, all the top nations, do, do, there's not much blue in there. Argentina, yeah, light blue, France is dark blue, but you know, the royal blue is missing. In any case, going back to uh, the jerseys, First off, on the background change, there's one, I put Serbia here instead of Uruguay, because Uruguay is the only one of the top 14 favorites at the moment, where I only have one jersey. Yes, that's to be rectified, but I'm not sure if I will do it during this World Cup. So, the way I'm going to do is, I'm going to go group by group and I will use a slightly different perspective. I want to actually try this, um, I got a, a different lamp for that. And I want to show you the jersey and will tell you uh, what jersey this is, from what season. And then we'll go through all of that. And yeah, I'm excited to show this to you. So here we go with the 32 teams. It is 30 home shirts. We have one away shirt and we will have one third shirt. Uh, but there's good reason for all of these. And we'll start in Group A with the newly acquired Qatar 2008 home jersey by Burda, my only Burda jersey. Um, then we have the 2006 Ecuador home jersey by Marathon, of course. We have the 2017 Senegal home jersey by Roma, probably the most spectacular uh, Senegal jersey there ever was. And for all these three, I didn't have a choice, but for the Netherlands, I had I was spoiled for choice. I ended up deciding that in videos I will wear the 98 home jersey. Um, it's probably my favorite Netherlands jersey to wear. Going over to group B, because there's a little bit more blue on it than on my other England shirts, I decided for this World Cup I will use the 2013 uh, England home jersey, which I anyway think is, is my favorite England home jersey, at least by Nike, but also Overall, it's a really, really nice looking and, you know, 150 years, England is old. For Iran, no choice there. I have the 2012 home jersey by Legea, which is the only long sleeve in this video. So that will be interesting. For the US, I also went with 2013, their centenary home jersey, because the crest is just, this is what a US crest definitely should be always and every time. And then we finish with Wales. I have one Wales home jersey, uh, which is the 2010 tailored by Umber One. It is rather plain, but I think that's all that it needs to be. Going over to Group C, I think that the 2014 home jersey is very similar to the one that they're wearing this time around. I do like the Star Wars crest here, you know, the opening scroll a little bit. And you know, that was Messi made it to the final. I hope he will make it to the final this time as well. For Saudi Arabia, no choice really there as well. I have the 2006 home uh, jer uh, jersey with the nice palm tree pattern in there as well. So uh, don't mind it, I've actually seen them play live in this one. For Mexico, I have the 2002 home jersey, uh, my only Atletica jersey. I think it is a rather unique one, but I am thinking of getting at least a second Mexico jersey because it just needs to be. Uh, then Poland, this is probably one of those teams where I feel I don't have the 
best one is the 2008 home jersey but it's the basic version the um it's you it should have red sleeve cuts but the basic version didn't have it's not a bad jersey per se but i feel that i could have a better poland uh, jersey so i may fetch one in group d we have france i decided that the one that's closest to the one that is being used is of course the world cup winning jersey from 2018 uh, I really love this jersey, the color comp combination, of course, the rooster. For Australia, I'm going with the 2010 home jersey. I really like the green shoulders, a design so nice that the US copied it in 2014. Um, I think it's rather un underrated overall. For Denmark, that's now the one third jersey, but you know, since Denmark has uh, monochromatic kits, I decided let's use the one from 2020, the original monochromatic kit. Uh, it's a nice jersey, I'm getting around to it, but I still prefer the regular ones, but you know, this will be the one used for the World Cup. Then for Tunisia, this is probably the most spectacular jersey I'm showing you here. It's the 98 home jersey uh, recently acquired by Lotto. Uh, it's really, really nicely done. Every, every, everything. So uh, totally in love with this shirt here. Then we're going to group E for Spain. I decided I'll go with the 2012 home jersey. Uh, it is kind of the most similar to the one that they're using currently. Also having the Ukraine flag here allows me to support the Ukraine as well and we have a little bit Poland in there as well but you know it's kind of for the 2012 I do like this one will be also one of the few where I have a number in the background for Costa Rica you can probably tell this is the smallest jersey of the one that I have here it's an L uh, but for Homer this model is an M it's the 2006 Costa Rica home jersey I actually like this brush stroke effect which might be the uh, one of the earliest brush stroke effects now they are ubiquitous but you know it's an interesting one for Germany the 2014 home just for a simple reason a I actually think this is a very underrated look for Ger uh, Germany I'm actually surprised they didn't build on it but B the current home jersey is not a standard uh, home home jersey having the center stripe so I, I decided to go with a non-standard Germany home jersey I mean I only have two anyway so there you go for Japan, not much choice. I only have the 2006, but it's definitely one of my favorite Japan home jerseys ever. Top place, of course, going to the 98, but those are way too expensive. Going over to Group F, Belgium was a little bit of a tougher choice, but I then said, okay, it's a World Cup, so let's take a World Cup jersey. I have the 2000 home as well. Um, but I actually do like the pattern here. It's a really nice one uh, overall. Uh, one of the standards from the past World Cup where they finished in third place. Now the one away jersey, Canada. I don't have a home jersey, sadly enough. But I have from Idris this wonderful 2006 away jersey. I actually do enjoy it. It's a little bit, uh, the color is weird, but other, other than that, I think it's a really nice jersey. Um, we know that the crest couldn't use some work. Morocco, yes, that's the 2010 home jersey. Now Morocco play in red. Actually, growing up, they were always playing in green. I know that red makes sense because of the flag. So maybe a red jersey in order, similar to Poland. I probably should get a red Morocco jersey as well. But I do like it with the star here. And the crest is actually quite nice. Then my favorite Croatia jersey of all time, I, I, have, I, I will say, is this nine, 2016 home jersey. Uh, I absolutely love how they did the checkers. It, uh, it's the tighter checkers, but there is a little bit of a wavy pattern in there. Similar to one that they had at 98 in France. So I think this is a really, really nice touch. Absolutely in love uh, with this jersey. And then we already go to Group G. Favorites Brazil. This is the 93 94 home jersey. They did not wear this at the 94 World Cup because here the, the three uh, crests are sublimated at the World Cup. This was kind of printed on. It's a gorgeous jersey. I absolutely love this one. I went with this one over the 2014 one uh, for a simple reason. It also has the lighter color that they're using now. And frankly, it's the better jersey in my opinion. Um, for Serbia, only one home jersey. I'll have half and away. It's a 2018. It's an L. It's a little bit tight, but you know, very basic. There are really nice Serbia jerseys out there. 
This was no, no, no advanced then, but it was cheap. So there you go. For Switzerland, also, I Switzerland jerseys are usually, I always say, kind of boring. The 2018 had a little bit of a pattern in there. I like it with the mountainscape. It's not, it's not the prettiest jerseys, but I think as far as Switzerland jerseys go, this one is as good as it gets. If you want to have something a little bit different, not just a, pla a plain red jersey, make this round and not the square flag. And I think uh, this would look even a whole lot better. And then for Cameron, yeah, there was only one choice. It had to be the 2002 home jersey uh, without the sleeves. I don't think I will use Cameron a whole lot, but let's go with a, a classic. I have the 2010 as well. But I think that this is the more famous jersey. Also has a, it's a little bit out there like other current jerseys which are out there but in an awful way. And the last group, Group H for Portugal. Yes, there's a little bit more green in uh, the current, current jersey. So I went with the one that has a little bit more green which is 2012 home. Actually, I think it's a really, really nice Portugal jersey with the crew neck and the um, uh, cross pattern here. I think very underrated. I totally love this one. Then we have Ghana. Here I have the 20, I think it's a 2012 home that I recently got from Idris um, with a nice star pattern on there. I actually really do like this one. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I like it. So a uh, great jersey to have. This will be my Ghana representative. Uruguay. Sadly, I have only one jersey. It's a 2018 home. It's similar to the Switzerland jer jersey, but it has the sun. It's a little bit more defined. So it's a much prettier jersey for uh, that reason and we'll end it with the 2010 South Korea home jersey with the nice tiger pattern. I actually think this is among the 2010 Nike jerseys an underrated classic. I really do like, like this one. Very pretty jersey. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which shirts did you like in here. Uh, also, which you didn't or where I should choose another one. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.